There's a question we get all the time on Discord. People ask, hey Skillcapped, what are the best specs for beginners? Now, most of you are probably thinking the answer is to play something easy or overpowered, but we think there is a better approach. Sure, a spec being easy is technically good for beginners, but what's even better is the ability to learn role-specific fundamentals. And yes, we could tell everyone to just play Assassination Rogue, but would that actually teach them how to PvP in general? Maybe not. So instead, we've picked some specs that are designed to teach PvP fundamentals without being too overwhelming. Of course, some of these specs might be considered easy, but everything we will pick has a decent amount of depth and is a good starting place for exploring other classes in PvP. So stay tuned if you want to learn what specs you should be looking at for a well-rounded introduction to WoW Arena. One of the best classes to learn PvP is the most iconic, Arms Warrior. Warrior has been one of the most popular melee throughout PvP history, and it teaches many of the fundamentals required to do well in Arena. One of these things is constant pressure. We cannot stress enough how the ability to put the enemy team under endless stress is linked to overall melee success in an arena. Warriors excel with their single target damage, which includes keeping up Mortal Strike, one of their main damaging abilities that also adds healing reduction. This key ability allows them to slot into almost any comp and remain competitive in every meta. A common problem when playing melee for the first time is dealing with being kited, but luckily Warrior has some of the best mobility in the game, with two uses of charge, heroic leap, and the eventual will intervene on teammates to get closer to the action, giving them multiple tools to stay on target. While most people already know how important uptime is, for warriors this is core to their ability to self-sustain. More uptime equals more rage, more rage equals more ignore pain that equals you being alive, not to mention leech fueled by violence and impending victory that need you to be in melee range. When it comes to bursting, arms warriors have the absolute perfect tool with Spear of Bastion. This keeps their enemies stuck in place, buffs damage, and is important for setting up kills with their team. This can even be combined with Sweeping Strikes or Blade Storm, which can be empowered by Sharpened Blade for even more AoE pressure, which cannot be stopped while the warrior is Blade Storming. And last but not least, one of the reasons why warriors are so prevalent and consistent throughout WoW PvP history is their instant utility toolkit, with Disarm, Storm Bolt, AoE, Undispellable Fear, and even if you are not the most proficient war banner user, this will always demand attention from the enemy team. Altogether, Warriors are a great class to get introduced to PvP since they offer strong pressure for their team, with relatively high mobility, an excellent bursting tool, and multiple peeling options which makes them great in every bracket. Another melee highlight that could not be left out is our favorite blindfolded arena menace, the Demon Hunter. Having the best melee mobility in game is probably the best asset you could have ever asked for as someone wanting to get introduced to PvP. Utilizing this gift to its max potential is something that you will always be able to improve at, but even for beginners, being able to swoop around, keeping up with the most slippery of targets, and swap to whoever your unpredictable solo shuffle partner is hitting is definitely what you are looking for. Besides the unrivaled uptime you will have with two charges of Fell Rush, Fell Blade, Vengeful Retreat, Meta Jump, and the Hunt Charge, DH also comes with a fairly good self sustain toolkit with Heals and Leech, and multiple unique defensive cooldowns, including Nether Walk as a panic button. This provides complete immunity to damage, making it exceptionally good for beginners. Alongside this, DH has Darkness as a group CD, and a really efficient and strong defensive in the form of Blur, which provides good mitigation against melee damage on a short cooldown. You will also never be lacking on the damage department as a DH. Honestly, this class owns, and this will teach you an important PvP lesson, stacking damage multipliers. This includes lining up a few buffs, including your possible PvP trinkets, Demon Soul from Killing the Demon from Fodder to the Flame, Initiative, Weapon Enchant, and Essence Break. With this, you will be able to get huge hits on your Hunt or Blade Dance to completely banish people to the Nether Realm. To round out the Demon Hunter toolkit, you have the instant crowd controls, a must to close out games. This includes Fell Eruption, a 4 second stun on target, and you know what's better than a stun? Guessed it right, another stun, but this time AoE in the form of Chaos Nova. Not only that, you also have an AoE Fear with Sigil of Misery and Imprisoned to Incapacitate. These two effects can be easily chained together on enemy healers, with stuns on kill targets to make powerful setups. Since all Demon Hunter CC is instant, this makes setting up kills relatively easy, and you get rewarded for doing so when combining this with damage modifiers, making DH an excellent class for beginners in PvP. What you hopefully noticed with both Arms Warrior and Demon Hunter is that they actually share a lot of tech. Their high mobility is what allows them to deal damage and keep up pressure, which is quite difficult for a beginner. This is a problem when you consider damage is one of the key separation points between rating brackets, with higher rated players doing 20% more DPS on average across every spec. This is why damage is at the center of all of our class courses over at skillcap.com. These guides teach you the same DPS rotations being used by the highest rated players, including some min-maxing tips in our Master and Minutes videos, which teach you some 
advanced techniques that would otherwise take countless arena games to learn. Our guides are proven to produce results, which is how we were able to offer a guarantee that you will gain at least 400 rating while actively using our website. So if you want access to the best resources for learning WoW PvP, be sure to check out skillcap.com after this video. Moving on to the range section, we will kick things off with BM Hunter. And yes, of course, many people would consider BM an easy range DPS that doesn't have to stand still or cast to do damage, but the spec has a bit more nuance for teaching the fundamentals. To stay on theme, dealing high damage and putting the enemy team under heavy pressure is most of the time enough to win games by itself, and BM Hunters are the perfect example of this. They have a fairly easy DPS rotation, but it also has a bit of depth. This comes in the form of buff maintenance, keeping up barbed shot stacks to min-max damage while PvEing enemies down. BM Hunter damage is hard for enemies to avoid, especially since some of it is coming from pets who also apply healing reduction debuff automatically, multiplying pressure instantly. This pressure is multiplied by their iconic CC chains, weaving together stun, freezing trap, silence, and scatter. Even though freezing trap is technically a skill shot, it isn't too difficult to master with practice. These CC combos are insanely powerful for team play, especially in solo shuffle, and are almost guaranteed to help contribute to kills without much effort since all of it is instant cast. Hunters are also unique when it comes to their ability to CC and deal damage on the move. This comes with multiple mobility options. This includes Pet Freedom, Disengage, and Steel Trap, an undispellable route that doesn't DR with your other routes, like Tar Trap with Entrapment. When properly rotated, Hunters can be very slippery and hard to lock down. Even against casters, BM Hunters can be tricky to kill since they can safely camp the pillar while still being able to do most of their damage. The ability to avoid damage with mobility while still being able to put out pressure makes Hunters relatively unique as a ranged DPS. Even though they can be squishy when locked down, they still have a decent panic button with Aspect of the Turtle, and some other minor defensive cooldowns that can make stuns more manageable. And even though pet management could be tricky sometimes, we still recommend you try out BM Hunter as we can guarantee it will show you results, especially if you practice utilizing your ability to deal damage on the move. To close off the range section, we have a unique suggestion for beginners with Frost Mage. This iconic class has been dominating the PvP scene since its inception, and even though it might seem challenging at first, we will break down why this is an appealing choice for beginners. Let's begin with some clarification, as mages are well known for having a really high skill ceiling. A lot of this is due to Polymorph, which is one of the few spammable CC spells in the game. Mastering crowd control requires managing diminishing returns, which can be a bit overwhelming when your CC doesn't even have a cooldown. But unlike both Fire and Arcane, which rely more on setting up kills through Polymorph, Frost benefits a lot from the simple act of dealing lots of damage. That's because Frost Mage is the closest to a PvE wizard that you will get, having a really streamlined rotation and a damage profile that can be unpredictable. Their damage comes in multiple forms, with a lot of instant cast options, high cleave potential, and a big one-shot with Glacial Spike, a spell that can single-handedly delete someone instantly. This makes Frost Mages really good at zoning out enemy players. In some cases, Frost Mages don't even have to worry about getting trained or landing CC, since they represent such a huge threat with their damage alone. As a newcomer, being a caster and getting trained by melee is definitely a scary feeling, but less so for Frost Mages, who can be the bane of melee players. They do this by having multiple ways to snare enemies, and even having Frostbite roots that are on a separate DR from Frost Nova. Add that to Blink Stun or two charges of Shimmer, Greater Invisibility, Alter Time, Slows, and even a Knockback with Blast Wave, and you will have the recipe for a really slippery target. As for defensives, our tip here is not to be greedy with your altar time. If you see those melees salivating, walking at you, or some caster popping CDs on you, just press altar at high HP, as it will pretty much ensure you will get value from this strong defensive, either by healing you back to your full health, or just discourage people from spending their precious burst on you. If you ever get caught between a rock and a hard place, you can always ice block, which is less of a commitment since you have two charges to this panic button. So if you want an introduction to playing a ranged DPS, Frost Mage is definitely an appealing option. With multiple ways to avoid damage and with a diverse damage toolkit, Frost is definitely suitable for anyone trying to step into rated PvP. To start off our healer recommendations, we have Disciplined Priest, a multi-purpose healer that performs really well in every scenario of WoW PvP. One of the most important lessons every healer should learn in order to succeed in arenas is trading defensives efficiently. And boy, priests excel at this big time. 
They have two charges of pain suppression, Dome of Light, Rapture, and Life Swap in case of emergency. There are very few healing specs that can contest with the amount of tools Disc has to keep their team alive. One important thing to note is the two charge system of pain suppression. When combined with the protector of the frail passive that lowers its CD, it is possible to get more than three uses of pain suppression in a single game, which by the way, can be used while stunned. This encourages using PS liberally in situations where other healers might have to think twice before using a major defensive. Altogether, pain suppression is pretty difficult to mess up and is less of a commitment compared to other CDs. Disc also has one of the most dynamic healing toolkits, with shields, hots, direct heals, and atonement, which includes the ability to heal with two spell schools. Initially, this might seem overwhelming, but their healing rotation has a noticeable rhythm and rewards using spells in specific orders. For instance, Penance can buff the absorb effect of Power Word Shield, which means the rotation is streamlined while also rewarding you for min-maxing. To round up this unique healing kit, Disc even has the ability to play aggressively and even gets rewarded for doing so because of atonement. So not only can you help your team with damage, but you can safely do so since your damage actually heals. Together, this makes Disc Priest excellent for anyone wanting to learn healer in PvP, since the spec can teach both offensive and defensive play while rewarding you for being able to balance both. A last suggestion for a beginning healer is actually Holy Paladin, which just like Disc Priest has enormous potential for balancing defensive play with aggression. To start off, the biggest reason why Holy Paladin is suitable for beginners is its large arsenal of defensive cooldowns that not only will teach you single-handedly the most important PvP fundamental of reactively trading CDs while also having tools that in some cases will 100% deny a kill on your teammates. This includes Ultimate Sacrifice, Divine Shield, and Blessing of Protection, which in many cases are able to prevent lethal damage, especially in a melee-dominated meta. Of course, there are counterplays for each of these abilities, but instantly being able to stop a kill from happening is a huge bonus for any new healer. Similarly to Discipline Priest, Holy Paladin also has two main ways to heal. The first is the standard healing build, where Paladins cycle through mostly instant cast spells for huge burst healing, all of which can be done safely in the back line. Alternatively, Paladins can opt to play a melee damage focused build with Avenging Crusader, which can be a bit more challenging and demanding on the mechanical aspects of the game, but provides an exciting way to play with your team without being as punished for pushing in. At its core, this is what Paladins are designed for. They are the ultimate healer when it comes to keeping their team aggressive and have multiple ways to contribute to kills, even while playing healing based builds. Our recommendation here will be the same, starting off with the healing build and moving on to melee wings when you are feeling more comfortable. And while some people might argue that Holy Paladin does feel a bit squishy into some matchups and doesn't have the best mobility, these are two problems that could be addressed in the upcoming 10.0.7 patch, which completely reworks the Paladin class. We will have to admit Holy Paladins aren't in the greatest place right now, but with future changes, we think they will become an excellent option for anyone looking to learn PvP from a healer perspective. To recap, let's circle back to our original question. What makes a spec good for beginners? We definitely think that it is more than just being easy or overpowered, and ideally, it is something that teaches the fundamentals of the role you want to play. These were just our suggestions based on the decades of combined experience we've had playing Arena, but we want to hear from you. What classes would you recommend for beginners? Let us know in the comments below. And if you are out here wanting the best starting place for learning all of WoW's fundamentals, be sure to check out skillcap.com. Our class courses are designed around everything we discussed in this guide, like maximizing damage for DPS or learning how to efficiently trade cooldowns as a healer. No matter what, all of our lessons are designed alongside the world's best players and teach you everything you need to know to learn PvP as fast as possible without being overwhelmed. So if you want the best chance at making real progress, take advantage of our rating gain guarantee and learn more about Skillcap by visiting the links below. Anyway, that wraps it up for this one. As always, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.